As a natural product that comes from the earth, clay has always been of importance. Its use dates back many centuries to early civilizations, the Egyptians, Persians and the Chinese, who created utensils and beautiful art and sculptures in clay. Here in Trinidad and Tobago, clay was also important to the first peoples to settle on our islands, the Saladoids and the Amerindians. Now long gone, only their unique artifacts remain as a testimony to their existence. But the use of clay is still very much evident today in the making of pottery and in major industries, the making of blocks and decorative tiles. On this episode of Science for All, we examine the science of Trinidad clay and investigate the process of transforming clay into beautiful and useful objects. This is the busy town of Shiguanas, where the old world meets the new. The villages of Londonville, Chase Village, Carapichaima and Freeport in central Trinidad are home to many of our traditional potters and clay factories. Manufacturing pottery in Trinidad is possible because several areas here are rich in clay. We are located in the mine right now and if you were to look at the back of me here you will notice the different strata as it goes from the top coming down. The first layer at the top you would notice it is a very thin layer of topsoil, maybe just about three centimeters. And as you come lower down, you will see the reddish brown material, which consists mainly of a sandy type material. And as you come closer down to the point where I am standing, you would see it getting very red. We refer to the clay in Longdonville as gombo. It is known in the clay industry as gombo clay. Because of the high plasticity it contains, you can mold it and shape it into any shape that you need for the industry. The clay is predom predominantly found in the Longdonville area, but the deposit itself is known as the Claxton Bay Sumsum Hill Formation and that stretches all the way from the Claxton Bay area straight up to the Valencia area in a diagonal basis. Charan Basant of Karapichaima is a kohar, or a person who works in clay, a traditional potter. Some of the Indian indentured labourers who came here were skilled potters, and this art has been passed on from generation to generation. Basant has been creating pottery for the past 40 years. His pieces are traditional and new in design. Ever since I was a little boy, right? I live right next door here. My father used to be doing this work. He was carrying limited. After he come back, he used to make a little pottery and he born in a generation. When my father said that I was really, how does it, fascinated about it. I know I couldn't take on schooling and I started to master this. How I used to get to make a deal with my father. When my mother to turn wheel for him, I was like, when I bought full like this, he was a big uh, he used to pick up a whole board by himself. And by the time he taking a carry out in the yard, my mother to turn, and I used to take a little try and make a little one, two. So, but I born in the, I had the blood trade coming to me natural. To transform clay into final products, the clay must undergo these steps. Dug out of the earth, dry clay is mixed with water, making it easier to knead. Once soft, the clay can be shaped and molded. The final step is the firing. Placed in an oven under high heat, the product is baked until it hardens. Apart from pottery, building blocks and tiles, clay has other uses. It is used in the drilling for oil, cosmetics, dental and bone implants, medicine and in the manufacture of paper. 
A clay is an, is an earthy material that is very, very fine, in a very fine particle size. Actually, um, smaller than two microns. A micron is a millionth of a meter. Basically, the most important property of clay that makes it suitable for use in pottery or making of china or anything is the ability of it to stick together when in contact with water. And this ability of clays to absorb water in that way varies with the types of clays. There are three main types. One is called uh, Montmorillonite or, or Smectite. Uh, the other is called Illite. And the third, but perhaps the most important, is Kaolinite. Um, and we, we concluded that for and any making of any objects with clay, kaolinite is the preferred mineral because it does not, it has all the other property, the desirable properties of absorption and of cohesion, of sticking together and making a, uh, into an object, whether it's dea or a pot or flower pot or whatever it is you're making, but it does not absorb so much water um, that it swells and then on drying it, it cracks, it does not crack. And that is what makes Longdenville clay very special for use in making, whether it's building blocks or ceramics or whatever it is. Air drying or sun drying the clay product removes the water it had absorbed, making it harder and stronger. But baking or firing the clay takes the process further and as the residual moisture is driven out, the clay minerals are drawn closer together and fuse with each other. Roof tiles, building blocks and utensils made of clay that was baked or fired becomes impermeable to water, increasing their functional attributes and value. The clay deposit um, in Longdonville are, are two forms. One is grayish in color and the other is brown in color. I think what they do there is to blend the gray clay with the red clay in different proportions to give different finished effects because the gray clay is very low in iron and on, on firing it, it would not give any strong red color. On firing the iron is oxidized to, uh, to ferric oxide and ferric oxide is red. The addition of chemicals like sulfurs and potash to clay before firing alters the properties of the final products like luster and porosity. Silica-based chemicals are added to the surface of the raw product and these are then baked to create a shiny glazed look and smooth feel. Trinidad Aggregate Products Limited of Londonville, known as TAP, have been producing red hollow clay building blocks for decades and recently have entered the market as a classic tile maker. They produce floor, wall, as well as roof tiles in various colors and designs using Londonville clay. They produce glazed as well as unglazed tiles. Manufacturers are employing innovative techniques to improve their final products. We also have the ability to alter the color so that traditional terracotta color can now come in a range of different shades and that's something that we found uh, our customers tended to like. We also have the ability now to uh, flash the tile, give the type of variability of shade across the face, which is again another feature that is quite natural, uh, which is quite appealing to some aspects of the market and, and what really is what makes terracotta terracotta. Clay will always be of benefit to man whether it is used in its raw state or processed into manufactured products by industries which are continuing to evolve. We have more uses than we have clay. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing I would want to say. So next time don't, don't think unkindly of, of clay. <laughs>